What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and pressure is mounting on Congress to get things done, pass more legislation, reconciliation bills, stimulus, and get it all done before these midterm elections. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest. This is your breaking news, stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, what happened was yesterday, we saw six members of Congress actually get arrested for protesting in Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's office as they staged a sit-in. Sitting in his office, taking up space, got arrested. Now, uh, the interesting thing is this actually just happened last week. That's right. If you missed the headlines, take a look, you guys. At least 17 Democratic lawmakers were arrested outside of the Supreme Court during an abortion rights protest. Now, this unfolded. Um, they were out there protesting. But here's the thing. It wasn't really so much an arrest as it was them just being escorted off of the premises uh, and being fined $50. That's right. Their arrest, well, they weren't even handcuffed. And they said a lot of people said it was more of a publicity stunt. Take a look, you guys. AOC fakes being handcuffed after arrest at abortion rights protest. And uh, take a look, you guys. You can see the video footage of the arrest. <laughs> So there you have it, you guys, AOC getting arrested. You can see that wasn't handcuffed, escorted off of the premises, fined $50. That was her arrest. And she wasn't the only one, though. Take a look, you guys. Rashida Tlaib, fist pumping in the air for the cause. Same thing goes for Andy Levin as well, as they just escorted them out of the area of the Supreme Court. Now, what unfolded yesterday was actual arrests that took place for members of Congress. However, here's the thing. If you're a member of Congress uh, and you're a very busy person, it's a lot to get arrested. It's going to take a lot of your time. So it's a good idea to send your staff in your place instead. Take a look, you guys. Link in the description below. Six staffers arrested after climate sit-in at Chuck Schumer's office. You can see he's not amused as they were sitting in his office. I've got the video footage and the articles and photos for you to go ahead and see them getting arrested, you guys. Now, just to clarify, it doesn't say the staffers went on behalf of their representatives. It says that they went on their own accord, but let me know your thoughts. Do you think that they might have been influenced or sent and maybe didn't mention it? Or do you think that they just went ahead and did this on their own? Let me know your thoughts, you guys. But take a look. Six House staffers arrested outside of Schumer's office for protesting climate inaction. So we're going to be taking a look at that here in just a second. But there is pressure on them to get things done. And people are actually being arrested. And also, we've got midterm elections coming up. We're hearing about a potential recession announcement today, though the White House is claiming um, that the definition of a recession, well, it's skewed. Well, here's the thing. Inflation is increasing at a rapid rate. And for those on fixed income, comes and just everybody in general, this is going to be a very expensive and difficult time for us economically. And we're hearing that some additional help, some support would be needed. The thing is, issuing out more funds is going to make it even more expensive and more inflation. So if there was a way that they could take existing funds, maybe $800 billion just sitting there, reallocate stimulus checks and do it right before the midterm elections, that might be something that could help out the American people and the Democratic Party. And we're hearing that this could be a potential option, but we're going to wait and see because uh, likely legislation, executive actions, all of these things are going to take place right around the midterm elections like we've seen uh, in times past. As they want to make sure that voters see what they're doing, they can be acknowledged so that way when voters hit the polls, voters can have it fresh in their minds, you guys. So we will see. But as I mentioned, right now, those on SSI and SSDI on fixed incomes, they are hurting. And we're hearing that there might need to be a COLA cost of living adjustment increase of $175 per month. I shared that with you in my last video. If you missed it, check it out. And also Bernie Sanders has brought back to the table his proposal for a $200 per month increase to those benefits as well. I cover all the details in my last video. Be sure to check it out. Now, in addition to that, you guys, I checked the website this morning and there is over 3,000 people that have signed up to get access to the comprehensive stimulus checklist. And a lot of people are saying, uh, man, I had no idea that there was checks in my state, in my city, in my county. And we're hearing that that's the majority of cases. A lot of people think there's only the federal level checks, but there's not. There's actually state, city, and county checks as well, passing all the time. There's some that are popping up right now that people do not know about. And for many of these, you have to apply. They're only available for
for a limited amount of time. And if you miss the window of opportunity, you totally miss out on the funds. And I wanna make sure that doesn't happen to anybody here on my channel. I'm gonna make sure that you know what's taking place right now. And I'm gonna keep you updated on programs as they roll out. Now, if you wanna make sure that you know about everything, you're not searching around aimlessly trying to figure out what's going on and uh, you don't wanna miss out on anything, go to www.reliefroadmap.com, put in your email, you're gonna be added to the wait list. Once I have this comprehensive list ready, you're gonna be one of the first to be notified and get access to this so that way you can know everything that's going on. So you guys uh, do so if you haven't already and also spread the word because we're hearing that just lack of awareness is why people are missing out on this. There's not enough advertisement. People don't know that these are taking place and I wanna make sure that everybody here on my channel has access to everything that they can get. So www.reliefroadmap.com, add your email today. Now, with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into the article, see what's happening with the pressure to get Build Back Better and more stimulus passed. But before we do, do me a quick favor, smash the like button if you appreciate the updates, just takes a second, helps out the channel a ton, thank you so much. Also leave your comments, share this out. If you wanna stay up to date, it's free, why not? Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, come join the Ram fam. Any specific questions for me, hop onto Instagram, shoot me a DM at steveram3, and also consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. More content coming on that channel as well. But with that being said, you guys, let's take a look at the video footage and the photos and read the articles about what's happening right now with pressure on Congress to pass more legislation. What exactly are you asking from Schumer that he's not doing? To reopen the negotiations on climate package. And that's actually passed climate legislation during the Democrats two years in power. And why protest Schumer's office and not Joe Manchin? Because there's always going to be a sheep that strays away from the herd. It's the job of leadership to get the party together and actually pass what people need. So there you have it, you guys. And you heard them say that they were actually protesting in Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's office because he is the majority leader in the Senate. And they said it is upon the leadership to get things done on behalf of the American people. And they said that's why they were in his office and not Joe Manchin's. Let me know your thoughts. Now, do you think it also might have had something to do with the fact that Joe Manchin isn't there because he's right now out with the sickness uh, for the pandemic? Let me know your thoughts. But take a look, you guys. Also, here are some of the photos that are circulating around Twitter right now of the arrest. And you can see all 17 of the House Senate staff members wearing business attire, all calm and orderly so far, uh, being taken out, escorted, arrested with handcuffs. Also, you can see the sit-in taking place right there with a the banner, all of them sitting in Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's office, protesting, demanding that something be done for legislation to get passed, saying reopen up the negotiations and the talks. And you can see them escorting them out of the building right there. Uh, and if you wanna know who the staffers were, Here's the list of them that were arrested and who they represent. So Saul Levin, a staffer for Representative Cory Bush. Arya Kovalevich, staffer for Rokana. Rajiv Sikora, staffer for Jamal Bowen. Courtney Cobell, staffer for Representative Jamie Raskin. Philip Bennett, staffer for Ilion Omar. And Emma Preston, staffer for Rokana as well. Now, let me know your thoughts, you guys. They did this specifically for climate action in that legislation for the Build Back Better. They wanted to see that get passed. But what about stimulus and provisions and direct assistance for people? Right now, we're hearing about 80% of the population of the nation is saying the number one top concern should be the state of the economy. Inflation, sending out assistance and help for people. Will we see more protests like this? Are they gonna be getting things done? Let me know your thoughts, you guys, but take a look what the article has to say. Six staffers were reported arrested in Congress on Monday afternoon for staging a sit-in in the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's office and protesting about a lack of legislative action on the environment. Now, the congressional staffers and activists had started the demonstration early on Monday with 17 staffers sitting in Schumer's office to demand that he reopen climate negotiations, according to Saul Levin, a policy advisor for the progressive congresswoman Cori Bush. Right now, we Hill staff
staffers are peacefully protesting Dems leaders inside. To my knowledge, this has never been done before, he wrote. Now, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, he has been under pressure to negotiate a climate deal, especially after the Supreme Court struck down a key protection of the Environmental Protection Agency. But Schumer and Joe Biden's efforts to advance the climate legislation have been thwarted largely because of opposition by Democratic West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin, who has been called a modern-day villain for his ties to the fossil fuel industry and killing off the president's environmental proposals. Later in the day, the sit-in at Schumer's office seemed to turn more contentious. A tweet posted by NBC News reporter Julia Jester features a short video purporting to show one of the staff members in handcuffs explaining why the group jeopardized their careers to take action. The reporter asked the male staffer what they were demanding of the senior Democrats, and he replied to reopen negotiations on climate reconciliation packages and pass climate legislation. Christian Hall, a congressional reporter for Punchbowl News, also tweeted that Philip Bennett, president of the Congressional Workers Union, had been taken away in handcuffs. Now, the reporters asked why the group had chosen Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's office and not Senator Joe Manchin's. Earlier on Monday, Manchin had announced that he had tested positive for the pandemic and was working remotely, but the staffers replied cryptically, because there's always going to be a sheep that strays away from the herd, and we also heard them say that it falls upon leadership to get things done. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. There's protests and more pressure being added to Congress to get things done, and we will see, and we're hearing that they have until those midterm elections to try to see if they can persuade voters to keep them in power and get things done for the American people. Now we will see, and I will keep you up to date every step of the way. But that is the latest, you guys. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to take a quick second, smash the like button, helps out the YouTube channel a ton with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. Love to hear your thoughts on this. Share this out if you think it could help out other people. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not? Come join the Ram Fam. All you got to do is very quickly hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, hop onto Instagram, shoot me a DM at SteveRam3. Consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. And again, keep an eye out for that comprehensive list of all stimulus checks on all levels, cities, states, counties, getting everything in one place so you don't miss out on anything. If you haven't already, add your email at www.reliefroadmap.com. Going to be releasing that master list here very soon for you guys. But with that being said, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.